had to do that ourselves, well, we couldn't have. I mean, we wouldn't have been able to either afford it, nor could we physically do the work. It's been more than two months since western North Carolina was hit by deadly storms that flooded the area. Tonight, more help could be on the way. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper is now asking President Donald Trump to declare the Western North Carolina damage a federal disaster. That way people can get financial help from organizations like the Federal Emergency Management Agency, better known as FEMA. He sent a letter requesting the aid yesterday. 7 News' Kirsten Glavin has a breakdown of the details. Driving down Highway 176 in Tryon is a message that's hard to miss. They said, oh, we, we, yeah, we know, we, the, we know the thank you rock. The thank you rock, as the locals call it, sits in the middle of Richard and Diane Perry's front yard. There are so many people that are helping and kindness is shown. A symbol of thanks to those helping the community hit hard by severe storms back in May. The Perrys included after a mudslide barely missed their home. They say the mudslide started right on top of this hill and came down across the street and then right into their front yard. Now, more than two months later, federal help could be on the way. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper wrote a letter to President Donald Trump Monday requesting financial aid from FEMA. The governor wants the flooding and other weather incidents to be considered a major disaster, describing catastrophic damages to nearly 200 homes. If approved, that could mean individual assistance to 10 counties in western North Carolina with services like crisis counseling, disaster legal services, help with unemployment, and loans for small businesses. It could also mean public assistance in 13 counties so people can get money to help rebuild. I think it opens up some resources for the state. and. Mm -hmm local folks. The Perry say they're fortunate their home was untouched, but for others who weren't so lucky down the road, federal aid could mean a second chance. I think we'll, it'll make the difference between, you know, whether they'll be able to stay in their homes or not. Until then, cleanup continues and a small message of encouragement on 176 serves as a rock solid reminder to keep on going. In Polk County, Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. According to Governor Cooper, preliminary assessments show that Western North Carolina sustained about $18 million in damages. He also says it was the wettest month of May the state has had in nearly 80 years. Right now